Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV. This is race. Uh, I just realized something. I have the wrong ticker background on. I better fix that while I'm here. Actually, put it on cup one. Yeah. Okay. Back to Smos. Okay. You just seen the ticker background change live. And right, but anyways, um, Smos race two at Auto Club. Last week we seen uh, Craig Pockers win for Roach Racing. Last year, Roach Racing, all of their drivers got a win except for Craig Pocker. So Craig Pocker opened out the season with a win, already coming with the points lead. Uh, Batatna may actually try to take that here as he got his first top five um, of the season last week, prior to not having but one top five last season. So I think he's actually tied for the points lead as it stands with Craig Pocker with that pull being a 10-point bonus because, yeah. Other than that, that's all I had to say. Begin. We got a Caxing Dark X Ray in the booth. David Dunn. Um, I think he's just spectating. Um, it's up to him if he wants to or not. But uh, y'all got any uh, first thoughts for this? Uh, well, Auto Club the wide groove racetrack. I go out of two and three wide racing. But the thing is, with Auto Club, you also kind of expect spread out racing, pit stops, very average, intermediate type racing where we will see spread out racing throughout the longer run of this race. But towards the beginning, we'll see some two and three wide drivers using multiple grooves. And I think that'll work beneficial, but honestly, you got to work on pit strategy. That's going to be what's going to be the winner of this race today. Yeah. I do believe this is the longest um, auto club race here for Smos. I decided to up it up to 60 laps. Um, experiment a little bit, see how it goes. And with this new ratings package, the... Uh, as Cactus King said, we're gonna have definitely different type of um, way these cars race, and it's probably gonna be more strung out as the run goes on. But uh, Dark, you got any thoughts? Uh, mostly the same thing. I know the draft is definitely gonna be strong. So basically, a mixture of drafting, who have the best tires, and mostly pit strategy. Yep. And hopefully, it's not a wreck fest like it was. Uh, last season cup, uh, I do believe uh, it's fixed. So I could. Uh, I hope I'm not wrong. I'm hope I'm hope I'm not wrong. The I think it's fixed. So uh, about oh, about a minute and a half till the race goes. Uh, yeah, like I said last week's winner, Craig Packers, uh, starting off the season with a win for Roach Racing. He's getting her going. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of rookies in the field again. We haven't really gone through all that. Uh, big race here, big track. Um, fortunately, they got rid of it in real life. That's oh depressing. yeah, it's no longer existing. Very depressing. Yeah, that's that's depressing. Gone but not forgotten. Yeah. I've been cursed by the. Black Cat NASCAR. Let's see, Hill so Rodana actually gets the pole in sex to Matthew Hill. Yep. Rookie Skyler Taylor, and they got Cooper, and then David Don, another rookie behind that. Cactus King, I don't, I don't really count you as a rookie because you did run in CCS a couple seasons, so yeah. you're a more seasoned driver. Yeah. He's basically a returning veteran, but he's in the. The snail series. <laughs> the okay. snail series. Right, five seconds to the command. What even is snail man oil? Drivers, start your engines. Uh, finish the question there as the engines have been, uh, commands been given. Uh, it's a fictional company. Came up uh, with it back 2019. Like, hmm, that'd be a cool <laughs> name for a company. Mm. Actually, based off a fictional uh, character I made as well called Snail Man. But we'll go into that later. So he does he make does he make his oil out of snails? You are amazingly the third person who's asked me that. <laughs> oh god. That's the best There's one I heard so far. That. Ignore the rookie stripes on the seventy one. I didn't change their paint scheme, so they still have rookie stripes. So. Wah, wah. It's some sort of the Coca Cola banner. 
Yeah, that, that car still has the Zack Moore 3TV banner back when we were Z, oh, ZSS. Oh Matthew God. Hill still has the OG banner from Season 1. Oh my God. Well, now we're green at Auto Club. See how this goes. CCS is the only series that everyone has the same banner in. Mm. I think there's like four different banners in this one. Oh God. If you're just like Matthew Hills, you're an OG. I guess you can say you're bringing some nostalgia to it, I guess. A little bit. 2021 mm -hmm. was about three years ago. Yeah, that's Maybe crazy. Four. There's four different banners. That's four different years, I guess. With that, that that's, including this year. That's easy. Which is only two races in. Yeah. Almost three wide for first, but... Oh, but I'm going to hold on as yeah, he gets into the wall. Was well, gonna and leave lap think... one. David Don's gonna take it. No, oh, wow. <laughs> He's focused. Not only that, we have three wide. Ooh. A little oh, bit of uh, they're, a lot they're of three wide the back. Here. They're gonna rack, aren't they? Oh, so a far, bit so of good. Up to the track, though. And we see Sky Intelligence on to second. The waiter three wide, and the waiters line up the track. A wreck's inevitable. Yeah, likely so. Oh. Yep, they're get they're gonna wreck. Oh yeah, that's that's it right there. Keep our standings well, on about just in case. Week. I don't know how they're still holding it right yeah. now. David Don leads lap three, lap two. Uh, K and K Racing. Uh, we have constructor standings this season, and K and K Racing holding very strong constructors after leading uh the most laps last. Uh, holy cow, five Bro, wins. They're one. 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 Oh, they're done. They're done. Holy they're done. moly! The setup's kind of overly aggressive. Yeah. yeah, it's mainly like the constructors, mainly like the team owner, Captain Chip, I will say. Oh, yes, that's that one. Mm. Yeah, oh, we gotta get more. Cow, um, I have not seen anything like the whole six wide. Oh my they're gosh. Going, they're going, they're oh they're my so gosh. Cool. You're going single founder, putting so themselves in the wall. They're gonna do bro. it. Bro, I gotta check the, yeah. uh, the uh, uh, track type on this. I think it's super speedways. They're racing it like a super speedway or something. They're racing when it gets Talladega. Yeah. Well, Auto Club is basically kind of super well, freeway ish a little bit. Really kind of, but like. It's still kind of intermediate in a way. I mean, it could be worse. As it could we be do have worse. another leader. And it's the number 30, I believe. It's Cooper. He led the most laps last Let's... week. Already coming back to lead some Cooper more. Steel. Yeah, keeping the constructors alive. Oh. Or trying to. Oh, he's going to like Williams. He's going to sit it down for the lead. Yeah. You know, very Follow by the 22. That would be... How are they holding it together right now? I have no idea. Me. That's beyond me. Well, they're I, holding on so far. I will say right it's now. impressive. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll keep in mind next time, uh, I'll have to double Don't, check the, uh, track type. Again, K and K trying to take the lead. Keaton Williams led that lap. We got Space Guide in the lead now. Won two races last oh, season. Rod, uh, she goes, try to go, try to take second. There's still three wide back there. Uh, front slowly starting. Oh, she's going to make it through. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly a little bit of a kettle like Williams, and I think he's going to take the lead. My offender. Two wide for first between Space Guy and Williams. Uh, Space, I think Space Guy got that. No? Uh, Caden Williams got it. Caden Williams got Caden Williams almost got turned there by Nimrod. Yep. Uh, Caden Williams' teammate Zig Zagoon catching up that 0-6 back there, but Nimrod cooking. One Darlington last season for Don Patrol Motorsports. No longer there. Oh, now with a uh, Wick Rare Racing. I have to say that with a very pronunciated way, Rick otherwise Rick I'm going to just say it and say Rick Ware. But... Caden Williams got on the wall for there. Yeah. Yeah, these, these runs going on, these tires are starting to wear out. You're gonna, I think Cactus King was right. We may start seeing more single file, especially they haven't wrecked. So if that yeah, trend I'll continues, I'll it. If they wreck, if they wreck, they wreck, they so wreck. Far, a little bit of a scribbling against the wall, but yeah, the tires are really wearing out now. Single file for a little while. Yep, again, I will have to check. Double check the thing. I don't know if Cup's going here, but if they do, I'll double check the track I and I make sure I it's on a super speedway type setup. Oh, both the leaders in the wall there. Can oh, look. a lot of the guys in the wall there. Four wide on the straight. Kyler Sustray, captain consistency last season. Six straight top tens from his debut. And uh, really fell off after that, but uh, now uh, oh, new team.
eight laps, and we're still going. And it's in, it's inevitable, man. There's nonetheless some, eight laps is impressive. Some, uh, Pretty much some close them. racing, but so far they're able to keep it clean. Nimrod looking to consistently that hold the front right here. And oh! Did get into the wall there. I think he spoke too soon on that. <laughs> Peace and Avery trying to hold the Go Forth Motorsports torch right now. David Don started front, led a little lap, maybe two. And uh, he since shuffled here. back. But Nimrod currently holding the lead and uh, so far able to defend it. Much. The total one trying to die down for a second. They're still making a lot of moves there. He goes to five. He's gonna make it three wide for a second. Yeah, a lot of these guys using up their tires. Uh, oh, I got the wall there again. Eighty is Silas Wilmot. He was in the wall there, L four. We're on the track house racing entries. A lot of guys He's leading the both pro shops sponsorship. Tires are starting to wear quick. Question is now, 60 laps. Think they're going to make it on gas? I think they get one set of pit stops. Yeah, at least maybe days. one pit stop. Maybe at least one. Holy moly, I was going to change cameras. I'll say they look like they're 43. about to go. Looked like they were about to go like three wide there. Or four wide rather. But yeah, Nimrod yeah, currently oh. looking to be the dominant car. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, oh I got something going way high there. Yeah, that's uh Sandy Messi or not Sandy Messi, Brandon Nelson. Still getting used to the driver number change. Holy four wide and a four wide and a three. Looks like Craig may back out uh -huh. here. Nope. He doesn't. Oh, they make it work nonetheless. Thing. Brandon I think's gonna clear here. Yep. Oh, Dude, 98, not go. clear. Oh, that's very that close. It's close, but it looks like they're gonna clear. That been a big one right there. Yeah, Alex and Vittel. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The 98. Uh -oh. That whoever's in front of that four is not clear. See the four. Uh, the four. Nimrod is pulling away slowly. So far, well, showing to be the dominant the car. For position. Yeah. I forgot to change the 75. They did change their car. Didn't put it in the game, so whoops. <laughs> blah, blah. Yeah, he's gonna get reeled in at this point. Last week's pulse there, currently again. on top. Mostly three wide. He's about to go four wide again. And they are. This yep. They're this about to go impressive. five wide, actually. Oh god, they're about to go. They're going five wide. Alex, oh, oh, five. oh, there we go. A little bit loose, but he ends up saving it. Zigzagoon. Four wide down the back stretch. It's like uh, 22 space guy going to clear, but Zigzagoon almost making it five wide. Thought better of it. I don't blame him one yeah. bit. Another again, it was four oh, wide oh, for whoa. fifth. Ah, Close constantly, 63 and the 80 there. That's uh, Ryan Cole. Close. And, uh, It'd have been dangerous on the edge, but somehow they end up saving it. Still a swim on 88. Ooh, big slider. Oh. Tom Tomer's oh. white. And that's going to put oh. the 98 in the wall. He ran out of race oh. track. Oh, oh. Alex and Vittel are going to lose a ton of track position oh. here. Slow that's actually going to split up the field a little bit as well. Down the back they go. And then you got a uh, 71 Matat, huh? A lot of shuffling going on Ooh. right now. You can really see those tires starting to wear out on these guys. Yeah, they... A lot of desperate moves being made. Yeah, hey, Adol Clever's also going to be hard on tires as well. So that can be another factor into this. They're still not me. They're making a lot hey, of... It looks like they're starting to like final so far. Calm it down here and finally start throwing their shit out, sorting the stuff out here. We got a battle for the lead, at least three wide. Yeah, question is that, oh, never mind, uh, 29 oh, the wall. Marco Lenard. 
Marker Lenard in the 66 is going to take the lead. Yeah, the 66 uh, got it. 93 almost made contact there. Yeah, at 23, 29 is going to lose a ton of spots here. But Marco Lenard, 66, Roach Racing Entry is going to take the lead. Right in front of Ezra Drimmer. And... It's a 93 as well, but... In the back. He goes to the bottom, but no drafting help. Here comes T. Terror. Yeah, Tufty Terror. Terror. Where did Riley Gores come from? Holy cow. Yeah, oh. Oh, Marco Lenard is going to get the wall. Oh, the wall. Tufty Terror is going to try to get a run here, a lead, lead a lap. Not going to happen. Marco Lenard still has it run on top with the help from Ezreal Dreamer. Should be big pit stops here soon. Yeah, about a quarter of the way through at this I point. I think it's not until maybe lap 40 Whoa. or 41. Patana oh, right. hey, Patana really gets loose. Tight looks like got loose off exit because of being tight, maybe. Maybe just got loose off exit, though. Is it because the Discord stream is the game lagging a little bit? I think it's the stream. My game's not lagging. Uh, I was going to say, I was like, that's weird. That's All. 93. Got tight. Yeah, 71 gonna is going to take gonna it. It's going to be a ton out of lead. Backstretch garage it's racing teams. Fire becomes the 16. That's a 0 6. A zig 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 we know down He's there they were last season. There. Two wins. Oh, nearly almost. Gets into the bumper. Had one of the closest points battles for the season standings championship last year. Salamander Inc. went back to four. Racing, there's a lot of action pack goals going on. Yeah, not trying to hold the lead here. Oh, Ezreal Drummer big oh, in the wall there, 75. Big time. He's going to lose a lot of spots. Riley Gore's going to try to make it three wide. Well, he went low. Yep. He's going to go low here, trying to move that 93 up. The Goons lets him track a little bit. Yeah, he's going to try to do better than he did last season, or at least trying to stay consistent. Leading Not a lap. By another team. Leading a lap will get you two points. Leading the most laps gets you ten. So, uh, now, if you lead the most laps and lead a lap, you're not, you're not going to get, like, 12 points. But, like, that's uh, eight points good. more than anyone else if you lead the most laps. And Gors is in the wall. I'm going to see that happen a couple of times. It's 20 laps is this green. Holy cow. Where did 51 come from? Brock Nelson. He also had a really strong season as well last year. Mm. Former teammate of the 93 and the 73. 73, uh... 73 shred not in the season because he failed to meet expectations. And he was a regular season much. champion last season. Yep. And pretty much just wasn't active. Uh, didn't get to keep the ride. Tough to tear. Yep. Was active. Tough. Got moved over to the backstretch garage racing team. Single car operation in Smos, three car operation in CCS. Hey, there's been a lot of moves going the off season. Some cup dice decide to go down to the Infinity Series and leave them for others. Yeah, I think there's really only one driver to take note of there, and that's Brandon Nelson. Biggest move, probably. Got to go back to track house, move down to Smos, and uh, see how he does. How far the three car pull away? At the moment, yes. Oh, 51. A little bit Ooh, nearly threw off for first, but he thought better of it. Oh, that's, that's catching up big time. We're standing in, make sure nothing's subliminally fallen back. Oh, 30 has subliminally fallen back for like two seconds. I'm not sure if that's mechanical or hit the wall bad or saw what, but... He's off the base. Yeah, he's off the draft. He uh, led a few laps at the beginning here. He draft. He led a few laps at the beginning here. He's not off pace enough to go... Be manually removed from the race, however. Yeah, I think just lost the draft. We ran into the wall too much and lost a lot of speed. While we were gone, Tuffy Terror really, took the lead. Ooh, almost three wide for the lead. What do you mean almost? Thanks. They are three wide Actually, for the lead. They are three wide for the lead. What do you mean? Ooh, but that, no, I think got it. Yep. That's, that's by a fender. I mean, we got four wide for the lead. Ooh, nearly four wide. Five sent it. Brandon Nelson. Ryan Cole really takes the lead, leader. meanwhile. Trying to take the lead. Oh. Here comes Brock Nelson. Brock Nelson and uh, Brandon Nelson got together a little bit there. I don't believe they're related, by the way. I know that would make sense if they were. Imagine they were. Mm -hmm. That would be weird. That would be weird. 
Oh, I know uh, on the thing, on the export, it says B. Nelson next to both their names, and they both finished 1-2 wherever they finished at uh, last week. Now, I was kind of confused which one was who. Daytona. I was doing the points, and I had to look at the number to figure out who was who. Yeah, Daytona. <laughs> Ooh, they're getting dicey back there. 93 in the wall. Don't have a lot of fun positions doing the mid pack. We were looking at four wide there for a minute. They're gonna go four wide. Thirty's just simply Dave falling F. back. Really luckily, hanging there for a little bit. Ryan Cole. Well, gonna hang with him into the draft. Ryan, Ryan Cole, Cole, he's going away a little bit. A little bit. These other guys are dicing and fighting back there. He's probably gonna hit the wall and it's probably gonna catch him. Depends on how tight he takes it. Gotta win it. Tell it they're not tell it, but Daytona, race two last season. McClure Motorsports, that team uh, has left the series. He's now with road racing. Mm -hmm. He's actually signed with Road Racing regardless of... Uh, 26 out of 60. We're almost halfway through this race. Yeah. yeah I'm, at done, this point... You're going Brock Nelson. Dang, big run there on turn, in turn one. And Cactus was talking about those gaps at the beginning of this uh, event. We're starting to see those... After this pit cycle, if they can keep it green. And I'll have to manually throw a yellow if there's a wreck. Because I forgot to turn them on. Actually, I didn't forget. I thought hmm, maybe I shouldn't turn him on, but I'm double. I'm rethinking that decision. Seeing uh, if there's a wreck that happens, and I don't see it. Then, uh, oof. Oh well. But once pit cycles start, I'll check the standings because. Well, I don't know if there's some tomfoolery gonna happen while we go to pit cycles. Oh yeah, if there's a caution or pits, feels a mess. Yeah, there's ton, gonna, ton of there's gonna down. be. They're going single file. They're about to the they're 20 left when they start pitting, though. Yeah, it looks like, uh, the nine. It looks like they're about to pit, actually. Yeah, the nine of, uh, Sustray, I think. I just seen him on our oh, thing. Yeah, uh, Sustray's pitting right now. Oh, uh, That's the nine like at the moment. Uh, yeah, the nine of Sustray looks like, uh... I think the 57 of Sam Oskin may have pitted as well. I'm not sure if that was... Or, no, I don't mm -hmm. believe he has. Never mind. Yeah, no. so only one car is pitted. Only one car. Yeah, right now, uh, so... we seen... Is there a single file there? I wonder if they were going to plan on pitting there. Now, we seen last... Uh, I think it was in CCS. we seen... I know the passing was plainly difficult, but we seen that uh, Jet 64 pitted by himself before the pack pitted. Got a huge advantage from it. Take, take note of that if they, uh, we have any more pit stops later on. Or maybe it was mm. an unscheduled stop. And Maybe, also, yeah. we didn't meet halfway yet, so it'll come down to the end whether it's going to be a benefit or not, but we'll see. Pocono and Auto Club are two different Mine tracks. Still leading. Fair point, fair point. Uh, Roach Racing 1-2 right now. Then Red Bull 3-4. They're not the same manufacturer, by the way. Heck, they're not even the same color because uh, I'm going to blame it on shading, but realistically it's because I didn't blame choose the same one. color. 124 fan Brock Nelson. Two Red Bull cars. Not same manufacturer and not same team. And not same color as paint schemes. Because this is not F1. Could be. <laughs> be weird. Oh, God. That's up to teams. Real, or actually, it's up to drivers. Drivers, teams have to make a pretty tight alliance for that to even come close to happening, but... Yeah, if we had F1, it'd think it'd be over. Well, I may sound like an F1 commentator, but the Red Bull cars are coming to the front. <laughs> Oh, it looks like Max Verstappen coming up to the front. All right, looks like Alex Tanker on pit road. Yep, they are starting to make some green flag pit stops slowly but surely. Very separate, too. And we're now in the pit windows while Payson Avery has also decided to uh, come to pit road in the 91. And as well as Cooper and I believe uh, yeah, it's just those three right now. Cooper was already in the back off the draft, so he definitely needs a good run here. We have uh, the leaders oh, behind. Oh, more people. Patatnaw and David Dawn. Hey, we're Dawn. halfway through this race. 
I think for those that have not pitted, it, those guys are going to be a lap down. That's not for a caution. Yeah. Well, let's watch this lead pack They here. will be trapped. Because they're pitting very sparingly. It's going to come down to... Yeah, they're uh, going single file. Yeah, they're not all pitting at once. That's I think he has got... Yeah, they're cool. pitting. Here they come. Oh, 75 hard oh, oh, again. No. That 75 has hit the wall that, oh, that hard twice. May start to wonder if their uh, car may start yeah. failing. I'll keep an eye on to see if any smoke or anything would be uh, giving them a yellow. We the halfway point. Tire going down at some point. We got a lot of cars coming in and out. We just had Nimrod, Tufty Terror, Exo come in. They're coming They're in very sparingly, like up. three, four cars at a time. I think that could work. Mark, Mark I think, the pit. Yeah, I think he's coming into the pit this time. Yeah, he's got damage too. I, he, he, uh, they might repair that. I'm not sure. Well, Any good news about those cars that pitted earlier? They will have fresher tires. What in the world? Uh, it's the distance and then our cars disappear like that. 63. Yeah, they disappeared approaching the camera. Yeah, it's because... Oh, oh, oh! Saved it! What a save. Rock Nelson. Lap 33. That could have been the yellow these guys have been wanting. We got a ton of cars pitting this time, though. I think the 20 uh, some cars back there pitting. But 63. Yep. Battle for the lead still cooking despite green flag pit stops oh, going on. Go. Again, very sparingly. Looks like uh, Genghis Khan, Fox Cozart, Gar Salamander, and Azrael Dreamer again I pitting. Bro I think Brock Nelson was looking to pit there, and he never saw the 07, never got cleared there. He had a chance to recommit, to be honest, but yeah, yeah, that was that was a very good save there off of two. And it looks like uh, Nimrod is out of pit road, and so oh, here we go. Yep, the one car oh, no coming in the pit. Cactus King looks like Zigzagoon going to pit road. Rock Nelson oh, wants that lead. Wide for the lead. Rock Nelson wants it. Please six is in a bit. Yep, uh, Marker Lenard again lead to the lap. Roach Racing cooking right now. I forget what team the 51 of Brock Nelson signed. Uh, actually, I think he signed with Matthew Hill Racing. Two car operation with uh, him and Matthew Hill. Matthew. Whatever he's at right now. Just oh, looks like the 63 is pitting. Oh, Ryan Cole's pitting. Oh, well, it's the other Red Bull car. Yep, 124 fan Ryan Cole pitting. Marco Lennard and Brock Nelson and uh, Jet 07 staying out. Oh, he just hit the wall. Look three. We got a trio of cars right here. I wonder what Brandon Nelson did, because we know he's. I know he stayed out in a draft. No, he's pitting too. He's pitting. Yeah. So it's going to be very interesting to see where this cycles where out. Everybody says it well, because this is. It's, it's a mess. Caution comes out now. Those cars are a lap down. Uh, right now, it looks like the top <laughs> 17 are on the lead lap. Angie Johnson, last car on the lead lap, last time by. It looks like our leaders are coming in. Next car yep. behind him, last week's winner, Craig Pockers. Again, Roach Racing, really cooking right now. And Constructors, we'll keep an eye on him. This goes. Craig's pitting too, never mind. Behind him was uh, Ryan Cole. So Ryan Cole, had, he was on pit road, so hard to judge behind that. Where's Melinda Jones? Still on pit road. Behind him. There's a 98 of uh, Alex and Biddle, also pitting. Behind them. Hard to judge. I probably could have judged it better had I paid attention to who was up front. What in the world? Oh boy. I don't think this was a good strategy for Thunder 24 fan. He's falling back big time. Yeah, he is. So that was one to Jones. Yeah. Melinda was, really wasn't much not going to work out for them as well. Nice quadruped. Oh, Nimrod's on the wall. Yep. Uh, it's still saying Brock's in the lead, but it's going to be. We'll see what it says here, if it updates. Because Brock Don't Nelson, up, dude. Uh, there's the leaders right there. I think Brock Eric Nelson Monaco, if these, or no, it might be in front of Eric Monaco. Uh, is, is that Tufty Terror? And uh, I don't know if these guys are for position, but uh, it looks like they came out of front. Yeah, they got, yeah, they are. Yeah, this is for position. Nice strat here by the 32 and the 93. 
Tough Tour wants that lap lead. Exo wants it too, but it looks like it's not going to be enough. My calculation's right? Yep. yep. That'd be right. Eric Monaco, the next car behind that. And that's a two second gap to the field. See if they can hold that up. Or if that draft, per se, is going to come back into play. Very interesting pitch strategy. We've seen stuff. sample in. Um, very interesting. And green all the way so far. Didn't have any accidents on pit road. At 32, wants it back. These two battlings going to cause that field to probably catch up. <laughs> But the 32 is not a little lap yet, I don't think. So 51 had still had that lead, that last <laughs> time loop. Yep. So he'll have to lead a lap here to get that two-point bonus. Uh, not to mention constructor standings for the Dodge Team Racing. Him and Pox Cozart. You feel a that. difference. So Exxon does take the lead. So, oh, they got turn. Ah... Uh, it was, hard, it was hard slowly, to tell that time. Slowly catching, but slowly. I, they got 20 laps. They're, I think it's enough to be honest. They're forming. Let's see. Let's see. Across the line there. In this line. Let's see. 225 to a 216. Yeah, so. they're catching. Yeah, and not to mention, they're going to start sniffing the draft, too. So once they start sniffing that draft, that gap's going to slow goes up a lot quicker. They just put Zig Zagoon in the wall. Someone did. Zig Zagoon. Oh, he's still in the wall. Yeah, someone was not. I bet he's not going to be happy with that. It was Ryan Cole that was on the inside of him. Yeah, I think Ryan Cole pushed him up into the wall. Either him or Gorse. Yeah. Ryan Cole, I, I think, has really came on fire with this yeah. new roach racing uh, equipment. Oh, I think Zig Zagoon just hit the wall again. They might have something wrong with that car. Maybe they got tight or something. Let's see if they can sort it out. Gonna let Nimrod and Cactus King potentially. Oh, Marker Lenar oh. again, putting him into the wall. Roach Racing not being nice to Garcia Mander Inc. right now. Oh, D dirty driving by Roach Racing. They, they must have a grudge right against. Zig they must have a grudge against Zig, Zig, Zig Zagoon or something because. Uh, Ryan Cole. What did Zig Zagoon do? Yeah, Ryan Cole put him in the wall turn one. Marco Lennard put him in the wall turn oh, one. This wide. Oh, and David Don had to back out there. David Don almost had that goal. Oh, definitely go time. Oh, yeah, he's, he's got a problem, I think. Wouldn't be surprised if he uh, has a mechanical issue or something. That 06 car. But uh, Tufty Terror and uh, Exo still going at it for the lead right now. That gap sounded about a, uh, still about two seconds. Under two seconds now. For Monaco. Now, let's not forget, Zig Zagoon was the second car to pit, so the tire might be running down a little bit as well. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that 06. But... Let's see, the five car could be so page to uh oh. Yeah, not Roach Racing teammate, but yeah, they're gonna give him some slack, Brandon Nelson. Only his second Smos race. He hasn't raced with a lot of this crowd. He's been in the CCS most of his career. <laughs> One Trump run. Him. He won no. one race in 2021. I haven't done anything since. Actually, he made a championship poor last season. Decided to move down to Smos. Down to a second now. Well, not under a second, but under two seconds. Yeah, it's like they're gaining a tenth every lap. I think once they get within a second, that draft start picking up. I think they'll start gaining they're a little more. And again, uh, keep in mind that... Guys are going single file, not battling with each other. Uh, that's why they're gaining. He's going to the wall yet again. Uh, and Jeff Squid. for these guys. Jeff Squid as well. That 15. is going at it. Squid, another one of those cars that moved down to Smos from CCS, along with uh, Exo and Brandon Nelson. This is for top 20 at this point in the race. And yeah, they are. They're getting. Oh, they're getting. Ryan Cole just passed Eric Monaco. I think Ryan Cole, right now, at this moment, most dominant car. They, they led some laps early on. Uh, they're definitely looking like the dominant car at this point. Oh. Looks like Brock Nelson hit the wall there. Brock Nelson. Uh, don't sleep on him either. Uh, except for that point right there, and uh, he's about to get taken three wide. Ooh, might run out of racetrack here. Nope. Cactus King gives him room. So it's right. No, so Ted, they can gain up to the first to the front four. They're getting quickly. 
I think it's 60, and uh, Noah Clifton as well. Uh, him and uh, his rookie season was, I'm be honest, one of the worst I've seen in a long time. But uh, sure, right now. Eric Knight run by the 48. Yeah, 48 Eric Monaco. And the one. Surprisingly, Eric Monaco didn't win a race last season, but he had that he had that pace. He had a good run. He had good pace, and uh, this season, uh, same really true. Think... David Don Swift. Yeah, David Don leads broadcast. As we see the 93 and 32 swapping positions for first. Oh, they've been swapping back and forth for they're quite down, a few laps. They're down about a second now. Oh, they're catching. Yeah. yeah they're they're there. He's battling for the lead. Yeah, these two are going to get no swallowed. No one has to lead okay. shuffle. Yeah, the pack's there. Yeah, they are gonna, there. These guys are going to get swallowed. And Yeah, they're under second now. Yep. Clifton versus Monaco. Entire field. The field's there. Yep. No, Clifton's actually like, going to take the lead. Oh, the well, not the lead. For third. So he's going to take the that kind of second clear, pack. Clear Eric Monaco there. I turn on for standings, just to actually turn on good. Yeah, that third, 30 cars still lost to the draft there off that pit cycle, so. You got the Monaco. Oh, 51, tight. Oh, he's in the wall. Both of them, but. Yeah, that Monaco had a huge, huge run by Monaco. Yeah, and the number three and the 32 are still five, but they're there. These guys behind us going to gang to him. It's soon going to be a 10 left to go. We're rounding out this event here at Auto Club. Yeah, you see how big the spread is between the top five at this point. The, a second between the top five. Bad for lead, still intense. I think Ooh. he's there now. He's there now. Ryan Cole's in, Ryan Cole's in the, the 93 wall. now. Ryan Cole's in the wall there. Oh boy, Monaco. Three wide. I thought he was going to go in the middle, but he, he's going to go low. Brock Nelson clears the 08. And yeah, he did not have a run, good run there, there on that corner. I think he used up his tires. Man, what a battle. Yeah, he's going to have to. Ryan Cole just did hit the wall of turn two there. I mean, not turn two, turn four. Yeah, he's going to have his work cut out for him. Here last comes Eric. Uh, All right, here comes Eric Monaco. Yeah, these guys might have used up their tires too, but again, again, it might have just been the draft. Oh, no, oh he's right, hard on the wall. Hey, yeah, well, Clemson is getting third. It's Here, oh, battle for the lead. Still going to take it, going to turn number two. Eric Monaco took the lead. Yep, he had good draft, good pace. Clemson's going to try to follow. I was talking about, you know, uh, Ryan Cole probably won't be one of the fastest cars of his pack. He's faded, he used up his stuff. Eric Monaco, he's been saving. Here he is now, ten. coming to 10 to go. We'll see if he's ten saved better or on. What, what's going to be the cook here. What, what, who's going to cook better than the other driver at this point? Oh, Four three cars battle for the lead. Yeah. Well, what car is going to be joined? Ten to go. Now. 93 is coming back. No questions there as well. I don't know if there's terror. It's true. Ryan Cole seems to be back in fourth at this point. Or not fourth, but uh, fifth. It's away a little bit. That was the about it for a second. Big clean. Oh, Ryan Cole just hit the wall four there. Yeah, I think he used up his stuff. He's still got a really good car. Uh, used up his stuff though. Uh, he's gonna have to manage if if he can manage these last few laps. Try to get something out of it. Maybe try to go on the offensive side. We'll see how that goes. Oh, he's just speaking of which, he just hit the wall. Riley Gorse in the back. Dawn Patrol number 16 hit the wall. And he's got a little bit of side damage there too on the left side. In the it's all again. again. This is for uh, top 15 at this point. Nimrod, 24 fan. Nimrod's really lit up. 
Uh, we just changed from Wick Rare Racing. Wick, Wick Rare Racing. A Wick, Wick, I, I'm gonna, I'm Wick gonna rare. hurt, my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt myself trying to say that right. Rare. Wick Rare Racing. I'm gonna hurt myself trying to say that right. Wick Rare. So, yeah, they're currently really, uh, pretty good. Greg Monaco's still leading. Oh, Brock Nelson got loose there. Second, and then for... Well, three away for fifth. No clip. Oh, clip. 32. A little bit of a tap on Exxon. Right there. 51 he ran him up a little bit. Yeah, 51 had to lift. He's not happy. Oh. oh, they're bumping and banging down the back. They're, they're bumping, not happy. They're going to wreck. Yeah, 51's not happy with the 32. He did not like that. Coming to six left to go here. Brock Nelson, though, he's got a fast car right now. Oh, looks like Eric Monaco hit the wall there. They have. Six to go. Yeah, because here comes Terror. Here comes Terror, and here comes Noah Clifton. Terror clears 48. Clifton. And here comes Clifton. I'm trying to take the lead. She had tried oh, they're all down here. I think he has the run doing the back stretch, though. Well, he's still side by side. Trying to get a bit of a side draft. Try to slide him up the track here. Oh, no. 48, 48 moves him. Monaco sent the three wide. Nine to three in the wall. And well, I know I said he was not going to be back up here, but the 63 of uh, Ryan, Ryan Cole, Cole, once again, like I said, probably has the fastest car, not the best tires. This Brock Nelson right there. We're trying to find that right balance at this point. We're behind though. Brock Nelson, don't sleep on him either. Counting to four laps to go this time by. Exo's still up here as well. All right, let's see. It's the wall four. Ooh, there's a little push oh, off the corner there. there. Like oh, Eric Monaco just up, saving throw. it. Slows him down a little bit. Not gonna give Monaco a run until the bottom. Well, that's a go. These guys' tires are dead right now. Oh, someone's in the wall. Oh, Brock Nelson's in the car as he right scrapes there. the wall. Yeah. The other Nelson's going to get around him. When they went two laps to go, it could be anyone's race at this point. At least three for the wide. top three. Oh. Monaco had to give some Monaco's room there. going to try to force his way make it three oh, wide. Lift and nearly gets into the wall. Ryan Cole led it at the line. And the 63 is going to get yeah, it. Let's go. Hey, imagine if that was for the finish. That'd be crazy. That'd be really crazy. Eric Monaco is going to take yeah, the lead. Well, that one, Zach. We might see it again. Monaco is going to take the lead there. These two right here. They're the ones to watch right now. It's 48-63. 48, 68, 63. 48 has a either. 48 has not won a race. Yeah, don't count him out either, yeah. He hasn't won a race. In fact, he hasn't shown any talent whatsoever, but decided to be talented here now for some reason. I'm not going to question that at all. Uh, oh, but... Ryan Cole the wall. Yep. Two to go. Despite being in the wall, that one car was not able to get anything off of that. Well, if we can get there in time. While well, these three are battling for the lead. Uh, that's the one to keep an eye on for. We're two left to go. Here comes Ryan Cole. We'll stat here if uh, if uh, the 63, uh, he's currently the highest running Roach Racing car, but he if he wins this, that's two in a row for Roach Racing. That's insane. Here he comes. A Roach Rare E Racing specifically, but Monica going to get the run off the corner, it looks like. Oh, Clifton got on the wall there. White flag. Eric Monica leads it. White flag here. One lot to go here at Auto Club Speedway. And a one of the final time. It's like Ryan Cole's gonna slide up right behind the 48. Oh, now turning into a well, I guess six car battle yeah, now. Shot here on the bank stretch to make him run. He's got one shot. Come on, as he makes a run. Oh, he's getting there. Oh, 63 had to back out. Oh, he gets loose. Oh, the five car gets the run. He gets into the wall. Here he comes. Is it going to be a nose? And winner is going to be... Oh! Monaco wins. Monaco by a nose. 
That was close. First career win for Eric Monaco. Ryan Cole finishes second, Noah Clifton third. One it's one like, thousandth of a it's second. Like Brandon Nelson. Or one one hundredth of a second. Not one thousand. One one hundredth of a second. Yeah. Brock Nelson finished sixth. Hare finished seventh. Yo seven finished eighth. Kakaki ninth in the twenty one car. And tenth. And Pax Cozart. Yeah. That was a race and a half. Yeah, it was. I don't really got much to well, say, to be honest. Well, that was the Snails Man, Snailman Oil Series here at Auto Club Speedway. Old Nugget here. He's expecting the Cup Series next. Cup's going to Jazz 500. Daytona. Daytona. As they head to Daytona, we're heading out of Auto Club here at the Snailman Oil Series. Yeah, we'll see you all next week. Yep.